For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the interest rate in compound interest. To find the interest rate in compound interest, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to M T, where F is the future value or maturity value, P that is the principal or the present value, J that is the interest rate per conversion period, and to find the value of J, we're going to have J equals I raised to M over M, where I raised to M, that is the nominal rate of interest or the annual rate, M, that is the frequency of conversion, and T, that is the term or time in years. So these are the information that we're going to use to find the interest rate in compound interest. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, Lucas wishes to turn his 10,000 pesos investment into 100,000 pesos in 10 years. How much interest does he need to receive the compounded monthly to reach his goal? So to find the interest rate, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to M T, where F that is the future value, that is 100,000. P, that is the principal, that is 10,000. Time, that's 10 years. Then, M, that is the frequency of conversion. In our given, we have compounded monthly. So, M is 12. And we are looking for J. That is the interest rate per conversion period. And we are going to find the interest rate or the nominal rate. Now, let us substitute this given to the given formula. Future value, that is 100,000, equals principal, that's 10,000, times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to M, that is 12, times time, that is 10. Then to simplify, we're going to have 100,000 equals 10,000 times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to 12 times 10, that's 120. Then, let us divide the whole equation by 10,000. Let us cancel this one. We're going to have 1 plus J raised to 120. And then 100,000 divided by 10,000, that's 10. Then to eliminate the exponent, which is 120, let us raise both sides of the equation by 1 over 120. Then let us cancel this one. So we're going to have 1 plus j. Then 10 raised to 1 over 120, that's 1.019373486. Then we're going to move 1 on the left side of the equation. So we're going to have J equals 1.019373486 minus 1. So J is 0 0.019373486. Six. Then, we are going to write our answer in percentage. So, we're going to move two decimal places to the right. So, we're going to have J equals 1.9373%. And we're going to have four decimal places. So, this will be the value of J. Now, let us find the value of the interest or the nominal rate. So to find nominal rate, we're going to have J equals I raised to M over M, where J, that is 1.9373% equals I raised to M, and M, that's 12. So we are going to multiply 12 by the value of J. So I raised to M, that's 12 times 1.9373. So the nominal rate that is I raised to M 
equals 12 times 1.9373, that's 23.2476%. Or we can write our answer as i raised to m equals 23.25%. So this will be our answer. On example number 2, at what nominal rate compounded semi-annually will 10,000 pesos accumulate at 15,000 pesos in 10 years? So to find the nominal rate, let us identify first the given. So we have future value, which is 15,000. Principal, that's 10,000. Time. That's 10 years. Then M, that is the frequency of conversion. So in our given, we have compounded semi-annually. That means we have the value of M that is 2. And we are looking for the nominal rate. And let us include the value of J, the interest rate for conversion. So to find the nominal rate, we are going to use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus j raised to m t. Future value is 15,000 equals the principal, that's 10,000, times the quantity of 1 plus j raised to m, that's 2, time will be 10. Then, let us rewrite 15,000 equals 10,000 times the quantity of 1 plus j raised to 2 times 10, that's 20. And let's divide the whole equation by 10,000. So let us cancel this one. And we're going to have 1 plus j raised to 20. 15,000 divided by 10,000, that's 1.5. Then to eliminate 20 as exponent, we are going to raise both sides of the equation by 1 over 20. Then, let us cancel 20. And let us have 1 plus j. And 1.5 raised to 1 over 20. That is 1 1.02048015. And we're going to move 1 on the other side of the equation. So we're going to have j equals 1.02048015 minus 1. Then, let us subtract j, that's 0 0.02048015. And then, let us multiply this one by 100. To make our answer into percentage, so J is 2.0480. So let's have at least four decimal places. So this will be the value of J. Now, to find the nominal rate, we are going to use the formula J equals I raised to M over M, where J, the interest rate per conversion period, is 2 0.0480% equals i raised to m over the value of m that is 2. And then let's multiply 2 to the value of j. So we're going to have i raised to m equals 2 times 2.0480%. Then 2 times 2.0480, that's 4 point zero nine six percent or let us write our answer in at least two decimal places so i raised to m that's four point ten percent so this will be our answer on our last example at what nominal rate compounded quarterly will twenty four thousand pesos will accumulate thirty thousand pesos in four years so to find the nominal rate, let us use the formula F equals P times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to M T. Where F, 
that is the future value which is 30,000 principal that's 24,000 time that's 4 years m that is the frequency of conversion in our given we are going to have compounded quarterly that means the value of m is 4 and we are looking for the nominal rate and let us also include the value of J, the interest rate per conversion period. Now, let us substitute this given to the given formula. F, that is 30,000, equals principal, that's 24,000, times the quantity of 1 plus J, raised to M, that's 4, and T, that's 4. So 4 multiplied by 4. Then let us write again 30,000 equals 24,000 times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to 4 times 4, that's 16. Then let us divide the whole equation by 24,000. Let us cancel. So we're going to have 1 plus J raised to 16 and then 30,000 divided by 24,000 that's 1.25 and to eliminate 16 as the exponent we are going to raise both sides of the equation by 1 over 16 let us cancel 16 and let's have 1 plus j and then 1.25 raised to 1 over 16 that is 1.01404178. And let's move 1 on the other side of the equation to find the value of J. So J is 1.01404148 minus 1. So the value of J is, let's subtract, that is 0. 0, 1, 4, 0, 4, 4, 1, 7, 8. And let's write our answer into percentage at least four decimal places. So we're going to have J equals 1.4044%. So this will be the value of the interest rate per conversion period. Now, let us find the value of the nominal rate. To find the value of the nominal rate, we're going to have J equals I raised to M over M, where J, that is 1.4044, equals I raised to M over the value of M, which is 4. Then, let us multiply the value of M to the value of J. So, we're going to have I raised to M, that's 4, times 1.4044. So, 4 times 1.4044, that's 5.6176%. Or, we can write our answer as I raised to M. That's 5.62%. So this will be the value of nominal rate. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.